I'm Anil Kumar and we have taken up few challenge questions on factoring. So the topic here is factor unfactorable. We have a trinomial x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 1. You need to factor it. How will you do so? You know, if we apply product and sum, that means p times q, we are looking for 1, and sum of p and q as minus 3. Well, 1 you can only get by multiplying 1 by 1, but when you add and subtract these ones, you don't get minus 3. And therefore, we are saying that this is unfactorable. Correct? Now, we'll adopt a strategy and show you how to factor such trinomials. Right? So, the idea here is kind of like this. What we can think about is 1 is 1 squared and we have x to the power of 4. Right? How about if I have uh, let's say x squared minus 1 whole square. What is that equal to? x squared minus 1 whole square is x to the power of 4 minus 2ab. That means 2x squared uh, plus 1. But what do we have here? We have x to the power of 4 minus 3x squared plus 1. Right? So, what we will do is we will write minus 3x squared as combination of minus 2x square and minus x square. See how. So the trinomial could be written as x to the power of 4 minus 2x square plus 1 minus x square. Right? So minus 2x square minus x square is indeed 3x square with a minus sign. Correct? But writing minus 3x square like this helps us to factor since this trinomial can now be written as x square minus 1 whole square, right? So we can write this as x square minus 1 whole square and we have minus x square. At this stage, we can apply difference of squares. a square minus b square is a plus b times a minus b, correct? So, a is x square minus 1 for us. We could write this as x square minus 1 plus x times x squared minus 1 minus x. So we have factored the unfactorable. Let me rearrange and write this as x squared plus x minus 1 times x squared minus x minus 1. So that is how we can actually factor unfactorable polynomials. Here is a practice question for you to factor. This time you can do x to the power of 4 plus x squared plus 1. I'll take this up as a solution in the next video. I hope that helps. Thank you.